better. Thank you. I am so glad that each and every one of you are here this morning. What do I got? Third and fourth grade? Is that what's here? Oh man, second and fifth grade. Oh, that's so sad. <laughs> okay, well I am glad that y'all are here. If you're new, welcome. I'm glad that it's your first time. I know for most of y'all it is probably not your first time, so I'm glad you're here too. We are going to say a quick prayer and then we're going to worship. So y'all, close your eyes. God, thank you. Thank you that you love us. Thank you that you care for us. Thank you that you allow us to come here and worship you freely. God, you are so good. You are so kind. You are so wonderful. So we praise your name. Thank you and bless this time together. And we love you. Amen. Let's worship.
awesome. Y'all may have a seat. Whew. Okay, so we have been working through the books of Genesis, Exodus, Leviticus, Numbers, Deuteronomy, and we are on the book of Joshua. Very good. So I want y'all to keep your mouths closed, keep your ears open, take your eyes, point them at the screen, and watch our video for today. Many years had passed since Joshua and the Israelites had defeated Jericho, Ai, and the kings of the land. God had allowed the Israelites to rest from battles against their enemies. Now Joshua was getting old. He gathered all the people of Israel because he had some important things to say to them. Joshua said, you have seen everything the Lord your God has done. He has fought your battles for you. The rest of the land will be yours too, just as the Lord your God promised. Therefore, Joshua continued, be careful to obey everything that is in the book of the law of Moses. Do not turn aside from it. Do not mix with the nations in this land or worship their gods. Keep clinging to God. He fights for you. So love the Lord your God. And if you disobey God, he will no longer help you win these battles. In fact, you will die here if you disobey him. Joshua reminded the people about the things God had done in the past. God had called Abraham and had given him a son, Isaac. He had given Isaac two sons, Jacob and Esau. Jacob's children had become slaves in Egypt, where God had sent Moses and Aaron. God had rescued the Israelites from the Egyptians, bringing them safely across the Red Sea. They had fought and won many battles because God was fighting for them. God had done so many great things for his people. So Joshua commanded the people, fear the Lord and worship him. Or will you worship false gods? As for me and my family, we will worship the Lord. The people replied, we will not abandon the Lord. We know how much God has done for us and we love him. Joshua warned the people, if you do abandon God to worship other gods, God will turn against you. He will destroy you. No, the people replied, we will worship the Lord. On that day, Joshua made a covenant with the people. He wrote it down and also set up a large stone under an oak tree. Joshua said, this stone will be a reminder of your duty to serve the Lord, who kept every promise in bringing you into this land. Then Joshua sent the people back to their homes. After that, Joshua died. He was 110 years old. As Joshua prepared for his own death, he left behind a legacy of obedience to God. And after Jesus' death and resurrection, he appeared to the disciples and left them with a legacy too, to obey him by making disciples of all nations. So we just saw that our Bible story is about who? Who? Joshua, that's right. But before we learn more about that, you have to help me remember some things about Town Square. Ready? Here in Town Square, we help people find and follow Jesus. And the good news about Jesus comes from the Bible. And every promise in the Bible is true. And it all happened in this world. Is our story today found in the Old Testament or the New Testament? Old. Good job. So we saw that Joshua challenged the people to obey God's law. We're going to look.
So these two passages, we had one at the end. The game begins in three, two, one. The game begins.